Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dear ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I want to say thank you very much for the chance that given to me. Let me introduce myself. My name is Kirania Malida. I'm from Ali Maksum Junior High School. In this nice occasion, I would like to tell you a story under the title The Legend of Roro Jongra. So, let's the story begin and please listen me carefully. A long time ago, there was a kingdom named Prambanan. All the people of Prambanan lived peacefully. But one day, Prambanan kingdom was attacked and occupied by the Penguin kingdom. Prambanan then was ruled by Bandung Bondowoso of Penguin kingdom. He was a mean king. He also had a great supernatural power. His soldier were not only humans, but also genius. Meanwhile, the king of Pramanan had a beautiful daughter. Can you guess who is she? Yes, she is Roro Jongrang. Of course, Bandung Bondowoso fell in love with her and want to marry her. You look so stunning. Would you be my queen? I can give you anything that you want. Said Bandung Bandawaso. Roro Jungra was shocked. She didn't like Bandung Bandawaso because he was a mean person. She wants to refuse, but she afraid that Bandung Bandawaso will be a danger to the people of Prambanan. She just wants to be free. Then she came up with a plan. What? Mary, with you? What a crazy thing that you say. But, Your Majesty, if you still want to marry me, you have to build a thousand temples for me in just one night. Said Roro Jongra. What? That's impossible. Said Bandung Bondowoso with disbelief. However, he did not give up. And then he consulted with his advisor. Um, Your Majesty, you can ask the genius to help build the tables. Suggest the advisor. Then Bandung Bondowoso summoned his entire genius soldier and commanded them to help him to build a thousand temples. All the genius worked at unbelievable speed. Meanwhile, Roro Jongrang heard from her servant that the building of a thousand temples was almost finished. She was so worried. But again and again, she came up with a great idea. She asked all of her servants to help her. Please, prepare a lot of straw and mortar. Please, hurry up. Burn the straw and make some noise spawning the mortar. Quickly. All of those servants did what Roro Jungrang ordered them. Burning the straw and pounding the mortar, making the genius think that the sun is going to rise. Please forgive me, Your Majesty. The sun is already down. We have to go now. Said the leader of the genius to Bandung Bandawaso. All the genius immediately stopped their work and ran for cover from the sun, which they are afraid of. They didn't know that the light was from the fire that burned in the straw, not from the sun. Bandung Bandawaso cannot stop the genius from leaving. He was so angry. He knew that Roro Jongrang had just tricked him. You cannot fool me, Roro Jongrang. 
help than having nine temples. I just need one more temple, and now I will make you the one thousandth temple. He pointed his finger to Rora Chungrang and recited some spells. Unfortunately, Rora Chungrang's body turned into a statue. Until now, the statue is still standing in prominent area, Central Java. And the temple is called Roro Jungrang's Temples. Well guys, from this story, the moral value that we can learn is we cannot give someone a false promises because it can give impact for ourselves. I think that's all of my story. Please forgive me if I make some mistake. Thank you very much for your attention and have a nice day. Last I say, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.